Tonight, a father makes a desperate plea to find the person who shot his son. Jeremy Brown was shot multiple times along Mableton Parkway in Mableton last month. He's still in the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Fox 5's Patty Pan talked to Brown's father and joins us now live. Patty, the father thinks that somebody out there can help find this shooter. Well, this father is beside himself tonight. His son has been in a coma in the hospital fighting for his life ever since this shooting. Now, tonight he is begging for the public's help to find the person or people responsible as soon as possible. I would love to ask the people to look into their conscience and do the right thing, but I, I don't think people have a conscience. I don't think they have a conscience. Jerome Coggins says that is why he is now pleading for the public's help. This father wants justice for his son, Jeremy. Someone shot the 22-year-old man outside the Mapleton Parkway almost two weeks ago, and to date, there have been no arrests. It's been horrible. I mean, I've been waking up every day. Um, bad at getting any sleep. I haven't been able to hold any food down. Um, constantly crying. You know, it's just heartbreaking. You know, that was my baby. Officers were called to the townhome complex just after 10 o'clock on February 28th. And when they arrived, they found Jeremy Brown suffering from numerous gunshot wounds. Brown has been in the hospital in a coma ever since. He was shot once or twice in the head, once in the shoulder, once in the leg. And his condition is he's, he's clinging to life. He's fighting for his life. Mr. Coggins admits his son is no saint and has been in trouble with the law, but says he does not deserve what happened to him. According to the incident report obtained by Fox 5, Brown was with a female friend who stated the two were sitting in the car when the shooting started. Another witness stated they saw someone shooting from a vehicle and then the car sped away from the scene. Cobb County Police say the case is under investigation, and while they have not made any arrests, Mr. Coggins says he has suspicions as to who is behind this. He's now asking for the public's help in getting justice for his son. I'm making a plea to the public for the, uh, all the residents that lived in that area. If you're saying something, don't be afraid to say something. You know, feel, uh, pick up the phone, call, and let people know what you saw so we can bring, get some type of closure to this situation. Because now, Cobb County authorities tell us that their investigators are actively working this case, but again, so far, no arrests. They, too, are urging the public to please come forward if you have any information. We are also told that you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously and receive a $2,000 reward. We'll have more on this story tonight at 6. For now, that is latest here in Cobb County. I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5 News. All right. Thanks so much, Patty.